it seems as if the Simpsons writers have some sort of secret powers where they can see into the future. Either that or they are currently writing our future with their show gags. From predicting virtual reality to a number of controversial scandals. Let's talk about these and more only on today's top 10 list. Starting us off this countdown, we have the Shard. The Shard is a 72 story skyscraper that was built in 2009 and completed in 2012. But somehow the Simpsons knew that this structure was going to be built in London 14 years before it actually was. So in the 1995 episode titled Lisa's Wedding, Lisa visits a psychic that shows her what her future is like. We also get to see what London looks like in the future. As a joke, the Simpsons showed the Big Ben clock as being digital. Now obviously, that hasn't come true yet. Now the freaky point is at one point we see this building in the background and it appears to be the shard. Not only is the structure the same shape as the shard, but it's in the same location in comparison to Big Ben. Yeah, so somehow they just knew that 14 years later a building was going to be made in that exact location. Super weird. In our ninth spot we have Prince's death. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up and also check out part one to the series as well. Prince was an iconic American singer songwriter. Sadly, he passed away in April of 2016. Now, some believe that he was actually murdered because he was talking freely about chemtrails. Prince believed that the government was deploying planes to spray chemicals in the sky, which was then poisoning the population. Well, Prince actually starred in a Simpsons Treehouse of Horror segment. In this episode, Prince gets killed by Homer. We see Homer choking and beating him. A lot of people then believe that the Simpsons predicted his death. If in the future it's somehow revealed that Prince was murdered, then this prediction will get even freakier. In our eighth spot, we have President Trump. This is probably one of the freakiest predictions that has come true. Because who in a million years would have thought that Trump would not only run, but also successfully become president of the United States. So back in 2000, The Simpsons aired an episode titled Bart to the Future. In this episode, Bart gets a glimpse into the future and sees what's in store for himself and his family. Well, in this episode, Lisa is president. During a cabinet meeting, she says, and I quote, we inherited quite the budget crunch from President Trump. Yeah, so the president before her was Donald Trump. Super creepy. Now, a bunch of writers were asked how they managed to predict this in 2000. And they said that they were just looking for a celebrity that would be funny and shocking as president. So maybe it's just a coincidence. But still, that's so freaky. Moving on to number seven, we have the rigged voting machines. In a 2008 episode, Homer heads to a voting booth to cast his vote. After voting for Democratic candidate Barack Obama, the machine selects Republican John McCain. Homer then sighs and says, no, I wanna vote for Obama and keeps trying to tap his name. But the machine keeps glitching and every time he clicks Obama's name, the vote goes to McCain. Well, during the 2012 elections, the exact same thing pretty much happened. There were voting machines which saw people voting for Obama have their votes count towards Mitt Romney instead. There was even video footage of it happening. And to no surprise, people blame The Simpsons for this one. Seriously, how did The Simpsons know that this would happen? Not only did they accurately predict faulty voting machines, but they also predicted that it would happen to Obama. In our sixth spot, we have the Nobel Prize winner. In the season 22 premiere, we see Lisa and her friends with a prediction sheet they made for the Nobel Prize announcements. This episode aired in 2010 and Milhouse predicted that Bent Holstrom would win the Nobel Prize in economics. And what do you know? In 2016, six years later, Holstrom won a Nobel Prize in economics, just like The Simpsons said he would. I mean, it really could just be that they did their research and looked up the trends to see who was most likely to win this award, but still, The Simpsons got it going on. We're now at our fifth and halfway mark with virtual reality. Back in a 1998 episode, The Simpsons have a scene where a bunch of kids are playing a yard work simulator. Pretty weird, right? The kids are holding garden tools while wearing a headset that looks a lot like a VR headset, literally playing a game about VR yard work. But that's not all. Another example would be the episode titled Lisa's Wedding, which aired in 1995. In this episode, we see Bart at Moe's Tavern playing virtual pool, and then another character playing virtual darts. 
And then in season 11, episode 17 that aired in 2000, we see Homer and Marge with the same headset having virtual reality food. Now, there are around eight different episodes where the Simpsons show virtual reality before it even became a big thing like it is today. Moving on to number four, we have the Beatles. In 1963, two Beatles fans recorded a message and sent the tape to the London theater where the band was playing in hopes to get a reply. 50 years later, the two heard back from Paul McCartney. He wrote and thanked them for their tape and said, better late than never. And somehow, The Simpsons predicted that something very similar would happen. In season two, episode 18, titled Brush With Greatness, we see Ringo Starr from The Beatles responding to really old fan mail. He said, and I quote, they took the time to write me and I don't care if it takes me another 20 years, I'm going to answer every one of them. Although it's not the same Beatles member, it's still a pretty creepy coincidence. Coming in at number three, we have the election outcome. Back in 2012, it said that the Simpsons managed to predict the exact outcome of the 2020 election results. Again, this one is fairly creepy. So the prediction takes place in a Fox special called Mr. Burns Endorses Romney, and it was for the 2012 presidential election. It's only a minute and about 50 seconds long, but in it we see Mr. Burns in front of a map showing the red and blue states for the election. Now what's freaky is that they look very similar to the 2020 Biden and Trump electoral map. I mean, at first glance, it looks identical, meaning the Simpsons somehow predicted the outcome of every state. Now, upon closer inspection, they did get one wrong, which was Arizona. Still, how do they manage to pretty much get the exact election results? Keep in mind, the episode is eight years old. In our second spot, we have the victory. Back in 2008, Simpsons released an episode titled Boy Meets Curl. It was the 12th episode in season 21. Now, in this episode, Marge and Homer both fall in love with curling. It results in them qualifying to compete in mixed doubles curling at the 2010 Winter Olympics. At the end of the episode, Marge leads their team to victory, beating Sweden. Well, in 2018, the US men's curling team beat Sweden and won the gold at the Olympics. So the Simpsons predicted that not only would USA win its first gold medal in curling, but that it would beat Sweden when doing so. Coincidence? I think not. Seriously, how do they do it? And in our number one spot, we have the FIFA scandal. In season 25, 16th episode titled, You Don't Have to Live Like a Referee, Homer becomes a referee in the World Cup because there was a shortage of referees. A lot of them were laid off because they were being bribed. In the episode, when Homer is the referee, a woman approaches him and tries to bribe him to fix the game in their favor. Either way, he ends up calling the game fairly and Germany wins the World Cup. Then guess what? A year later, a number of FIFA officials were arrested for taking bribes. Crazy, but not only that, the same year, Germany did end up winning. So the Simpsons got two predictions right in one episode. All right guys, let me know in the comments below which prediction creeped you out the most. And now let's move quickly along to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from the video, top 10 Simpsons predictions that made us question reality. It's the first part to this series. Aurora M commented, fun fact, before you know it, this video will be a year old. That's not a fun fact, cause then I'll be older and I already feel super old. Also, somebody commented on one of my videos saying that I was 46 years old. Excuse me? I'm definitely not, okay? I'm 52. <laughs> Amira Madison's sister commented, who else is freaked out by the predictions becoming true? Me. I am. Marquez Preston commented, the Simpsons are the most legendary future predictors. It's true. More famous than Baba Vanga and Nostradamus. Just saying. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all the comments I'm shout out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see ya. And if you guys are liking this video so far, then make sure to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps us out. And also, why does it sound like a question? Because it really helps us out. In 2016, six years later, Mr. Holstrom, why am I saying Mr. Holstrom? Mr. Holstrom. 
But still, The Simpsons got it going on. <laughs> Stacy's mom's got it going on. Simpsons writers have got it going on. <laughs> this room is trashed. <laughs> I'm just thinking of how I have to clean it after. Oh man.